what we will see in September is that every school, every child and every lesson will be running and sort of children will be able to go into schools, they'll be able to have the benefit of a world class education that we actually provide. We've got almost a million and a half children going back into school at the end of last week. I want to see that number grow, grow and grow every single week as we go to the summer holidays. But in September, every child has to be back. There, as our poll showed, parents are understandably concerned. Are you hopeful that a summer holiday, once everybody hopefully calms down, the disease is pretty much contained if they can afford it? Not everyone can. They might be have some time away, go and have sit on a beach. Come September, they will think, right, new school year, new dawn. Get Let's get our sons and daughters back in. Because if they don't, will they face fines? Um, so we will make sure that uh, we're in a position of creating schools as uh, secure and safe places for not just children to go to, but also people to teach in and to work in. So that's our number one priority. But I, I had the privilege of seeing my eldest daughter go back to school uh, a year 10. And when they come back, you see the, the pleasure that they've had from learning from slightly more qualified people than uh, myself in terms of teaching them science or maths or English. Uh, you see the pleasure of being with their friends again. You see, actually, it's, yes, it's about learning, but it's all the other things that schools bring. We are going to take a, we've always been taking a cautious approach, but what we are absolutely adamant is that school is the best place for a child to be and it is going to be compulsory for children to uh, return back to school unless there is a very good reason or a local spike obviously, um, if there was uh, a local or a local spike yeah. where there'd have to be local lockdowns yeah. um, and uh, but we do have to get back into compulsory education and as part of that obviously fine sit alongside that so there would be Unless there was a local spike or gran uh, grandma was ill or un whatever. Un unless there is a, a good reason for the absence, um, you know, unless there's a good reason for the absence, then we'd be looking at the fact that we would be imposing fines uh, on families if they're not sending their children back. You, 